Right, so I barely got home because I was uh, yeah I was doing something and I knew I had to make it. So we have 49 seconds until Arcane Season 2 official trailer premieres. We're getting a new song, Jinx-oriented song. We had a sort of a sneak peek and sneak peek of the trailer on Instagram. Uh, finally, we are getting something more. Maybe because of the leak, who knows? Maybe they sort of rushed things. But then again, we only have... Uh, two months until the season premieres and 25 seconds until the trailer premieres so oh my god this is too exciting what are we going to see god i rushed home and i wasn't even like thinking about what we're going to see uh, what this is going to be but jesus christ oh my god eight seconds seven six five four three oh no <gasps> You were right, Kate. <gasps> Kate? Oh! My sister is gone. There's only Jinx now. <laughs> I want to tear that laugh from her throat forever. Oh shit, it's so dark. I'm ready. <gasps> Turn peace to this city. You must declare martial law. Wait, we, we saw Vag with dark hair. Side is the real enemy. You have the chance to rally the Undercity together. She's becoming a symbol. Her symbol. <laughs> so what are you planning? <gasps> Watch it all burn. <gasps> She's blowing built over up. <gasps> Shit. You felt it, haven't you? Since Warwick, Warwick. The arcane is waking up. Is it? Damn. Sometimes taking a leap forward. Leaving a few things behind. This has to end. Then stop me. What? what? Oh, oh my god! Why and Echo teaming up? They didn't give the date, only November. What? There's so much going on in the trailer. I didn't even catch half of it. Let's let's actually watch it again straight away and maybe pause a bit. You were right, Kate. Kate! She called her Kate. Can you imagine? That's so, you know, intimate. Okay, so it's hitting. My sister is gone. Yeah. So they're having one-on-one -on -one conversation. Mm -hmm. There's only Jinx now. Okay. I want to tear that laugh from her throat forever. That's very, you know, ah, I mean, understandably so. There are there are rumors that Cassandra died. Obviously, we are not discussing any leaks in that video. I haven't watched the leaks, so I don't know what's what's happening in the episodes. But like all the hints are there, sort of. We think that Cassandra might have died, and that's why Caitlyn is so, you know, filled with revenge at this point. I'm ready. That's still red hair, but look, I think I think maybe the order of things is not what we think it will be. Because we know that at this, what was it? In France, some of them, they were able to see a bit more. There were rumors, I made a video about that, about Vi's downfall, how after Jinx becomes a symbol in Zone, after Jinx becomes, you know, um, sort of a revolutionist for Zone, but, but a terrorist for Piltover. But I won't exactly take it well. She's gonna follow a bit of a dark path. I think we saw her actually dyeing her hair black. So there was an article about it, about how Vi will gonna, you know, dye her hair black, you know, go to the shady parts of Zone, attend some box fights, some street fights, drink and perform a bit of a self-destruction. Based on that trailer, it definitely looks like that's going to happen, but it feels like she's gonna dye her hair back red because this plaster on her nose, that means that the fights already happened, unless she had a different 
wound or something but maybe that's it maybe she's gonna go down only to go up and that's the part that they mentioned that we won't like about Caitlyn and Vi because they will separate and Vi will follow a dark path but then they will reunite this is the part that we will love they mentioned it it all makes sense that's her doing that to return peace to this city we must declare martial law She's um, talking to someone, but I don't think she's talking to Caitlyn. Like, there were rumors that she's talking to Caitlyn, but I don't think that's it. I, I don't think Caitlyn is necessarily gonna, you know, go along with whatever um, Medada comes up with. Top side is the real enemy. Look at that here. My friend suggested that maybe this means that we'll actually see Karina, but I don't know. We'll see, hopefully, fingers crossed, that we see some interesting characters from League of Legends. Topside is the real enemy. You have the chance to rally the Undercity together. Everyone dyed her, their hair blue, or at least that's the light, or or some of them did. That's sort of insane that they dyed her hair blue. She really becomes a revolutionary for Zorn. You're a symbol. You're a symbol. Look at that. This is a new painting, but it's not one that Echo painted. It's a very different one. And Vi, she has black hair. And it's actually insane. It's so manipulative that they put Vander next to her, along with these pigeons, as if she's the one doing the good job. She's the one following Vander's step. The thing is, Vander chose the path of peace. Vander did not choose a path of revolution. I mean, he did back then, early on, but it was a mistake for him. Right now, Vi is the one who sort of chose peace, right, in, in, in season one. Vi was the one that didn't cause the war. Jinx did. Yet, ironically, she's compared to Vander now. Who's doing that? Because that's Vi and Jinx's symbol. So what are you planning? What is going on here? It has to be after the whole black hair emo face <laughs> her hair is i don't know it feels a bit dirtied up you know and her nose like it's definitely after fights the box fights she goes down but then she goes up she cooperates with caitlin and tries to stop jinx she tries to burn down piltover or at the very least use some bombs who's gonna burn it all down jesus watch it all burn who blew up there? Wait. Oh, so it's the enforcers, basically. Damn. But it's very colorful. It reminds me of that Hola, was it? The name of the whole day when they use these paints and like create some colorful folk all around. I wish they would just give us a specific date. Damn, she looks insane. Is that even? Where is that? I don't actually recognize that place. You felt it, haven't you? Oh, so we're seeing more of Zenst and his experiment, his Warwick experiment. And obviously we see Warwick again. The arcane is waking up. You know, ironically, despite the fact that the show's name is Arcane, I don't think of Arcane too much. <laughs> Echo doing some insane stuff here. Sometimes taking a leap forward. leaving a few things behind. Oh, so they're going to cooperate and with Heimerdinger and with Vi. Damn, look at that. <gasps> she looks she looks so emo. Oh, that's that's horrible. I don't want to see her that way. She looks a bit like Savika, which is insane if you think about it. This has to end. This has to end. Oh, that's a massive weapon you have there, Caitlin. Who is Noxus even fighting there? Because we know that Noxus's objective is to gain Hextech. We didn't even see Jace and Victor. Wow, they're still pretending that Jace and Victor will die. Is she carrying someone? He is carrying someone. Then stop me. What is that even? What kind of a uniform is she wearing here? So is this... Oh! Oh! Vi is facing Warwick. That's insane. So Vi is going to be the one to confront him. And in her emo face too, because that's the emo jacket. There's some details here. That has to be second part of the season because her black paint is 
wearing off. She's cooperating with Echo already. Look at that, that's epic. Oh, wait, wouldn't that be Jace's hand? That has to be Jace. But his bracelet is sort of burned off. Do you think this is the first sign of Jace that we see? Or is this something else? Uh, I think we saw Victor here. Maybe. Is that Victor? Potentially. Victor and Jace confronting? Uh, Vi confronting Warwick? Ah, insane. Vi confronting Jinx by the end, maybe. And that's it. I'm most definitely hyped about this, but I think the most crucial thing is not what we saw, but what we didn't see. I think potentially we didn't really see Jace or Victor unless that one bit with hands, with the blue crystal is actually Jace's hand. And unless the person that he was sort of facing, or at least the person that was presented right next to him in the trailer was maybe Victor. But understandably so, they are avoiding Victor and Jace because they want to keep us in the uncertain, thinking if they survived or not survived the blast. Obviously they will survive. They still have a role to play at the very least victor does we know that caitlin is mad because she's after revenge but she's also fairly calculated when it comes to getting her revenge we're gonna see vi and black hair that's confirmed so the rumors that we read that she's gonna go down the dark path she's gonna sort of fall down she's gonna be desperate she's gonna be broken because jinx becomes a symbol of revolution jinx will be compared to Vander when she should be the one being compared to Vander. Then we will also see Vi confronting Warwick. We'll also see Echo cooperating with Heimerdinger and with Vi. They didn't show us anything related to Caitlyn and Vi, not really. We know that they're sort of avoiding that, but that's obviously the thing that many people are most hyped about so i think we will still see that it's just that they're keeping us in the dark so much to discuss here maybe i'll be making another video about that trailer but it was definitely awesome i loved it uh, the song is great too i think it's on spotify right now so thank you so much for joining me for this reaction we'll be discussing that trailer more soon this was just my initial sort of a thing stay safe guys and see you soon stick around for more arcane content remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell this plenty of arcane content on my channel. Major shout out to my patrons as well. Bye!